my name is Penny Green and I'm the assistant manager at the Burke Cobb Rec Center. Today I have my daughter Casey with me. Hiya! Welcome to Parks and Rec Kids in the Kitchen. Today we are going to make edible slime. The awesome thing about this project is two ingredients, all you need. You're going to need a pudding cup, any flavor you want. I probably wouldn't do the tapioca. Um, and then you're going to need some cornstarch. So the first step in this project is you're going to take your pudding cup or your snack pack and you're going to empty it into a bowl. And then you're going to use the one tablespoon. You're going to start at like one tablespoon at a time and just keep mixing. When we did our first batch, it took about five tablespoons of um, cornstarch to one snack pack to um, get the consistency we needed. And then you were just going to stir. Gotta love mother nature. <laughs> okay. So I'm on two. I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and put three in there because with the first time we know it took about five so you're just gonna keep mixing the kids are gonna enjoy this project because not only do they get to touch it and play with it get to eat it yeah so as you can see it's starting to get the consistency of kind of like mashed potatoes and that's when you know you just about have it. This project is good for anyone of any age, um, but I would probably say ages two and up would be able to do the stirring and the mixing independently. Younger children are probably gonna need um, an assistant chef to help them. Casey, how's yours coming along? Um, I'm on scoop three. Okay, I'm on scoop four. And then, it's coming along good. we were kind of joking, saying we thought that the chocolate pudding kind of looked like refried beans. Now, how mean of a trick would that be to play on your kids? So as you can see, it's starting to get like crumbly. This would be a good time if you wanted to go ahead and let the kids start mixing with their hands. You know you need a little bit more cornstarch when it's still a little wet and sticking to your fingers at that point I would just start adding a little bit at a time and then what's really cool about this is um, they they can just play with it you guys could break out the rolling pins you could break out the cookie cutters and the kids could just have a good old time with it I've got my cutting board down here. They can manipulate it and they can squish it, knead it. This would be a great opportunity. Mm -hmm. This would be a great opportunity to teach some basic um, baking skills. You can see how it's kind of sticky on my fingers, so we're gonna just always make sure you wash your hands before you start your project. And of course after. Yeah, and of course after, unless you just wanna lick them so you can see mine is about where it needs to be Mine's getting in there. and then Casey I'm gonna take some of yours from the previous batch is that about it that's about it and then when if you're doing the darker color the more you mix it and knead it the more the um, cornstarch coloring will disappear Oops, but as you can more. see it we can roll it we can I'm gonna take some of Casey's and I'm gonna add some of the chocolate. And then what we could do is, if you wanted, roll it up together. And can make a swirl. you can make it a swirl. This would be really fun if you had multiple kids working on this project. Give each of them a different flavor. And then at the end, they could make something cool. It could be a vanilla, strawberry, chocolate, Neapolitan slime. Oh, that would be yummy. Here. 
I'll let you take part of my mix while. Pretty simple. It's, you can see a little messy, but nothing that we can't clean up and sometimes creativity can be messy. And um, like I said, cornstarch pudding. Cheers me. Cheers. That was Kids in the Kitchen with Parks and Rec. We'll see you next time.